Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to discuss the new topics of chapter number two. Number one, political parties like Indian National Congress. Number two, All India Muslim League. And number three, the events which widen the distance between Hindus and Muslims. Number one is Indian National Congress. Political efforts were started in Indo-Pak subcontinent after the establishment of Indian National Congress. Indian National Congress was founded in 1885 by A.O. Hume. The aim of Indian National Congress was to promote the friendly relations between nationalist political workers from different parts of the country. Number two, to develop the feelings of national unity. And number three, to formulate the popular demands and present them before the government. But with the passage of time, Muslim realized that Congress is working only for the betterment of Hindus, not for the Muslims. Then at that time, Muslims felt the need of separate political party for them. Then in 1906, All India Muslim League was formed. Number two topic is All India Muslim League. So All India Muslim League was formed on 30th December 1906. And what was the purpose? To protect the rights of Muslims of India subcontinent. Sir Salimullah Khan proposed the formation of Muslim League. Sir Agha Khan was the first president of Muslim League. Qaid Azam joined the Muslim League in 1913 and became the president of All India Muslim League in 1906. Now we will discuss the events which widened the distance between Hindus and Muslims. So number one is Hindi Urdu controversy. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan was the first person who presented the two nation theory. In start, he was in favor of Hindu Muslim unity, but after the event of 1867 Hindi Urdu controversy, he changed his mind because Hindu started a movement against Urdu language in Banaras and they wanted. Hindi as an official language. After this event, he changed his mind and presented the theory, two nation theory, which means that Hindus and Muslims are two separate nations. Number two event is partition of Bengal. It was decided in 1905 that Bengal was divided into two parts. East Bengal for Muslim majority and West Bengal for Hindu majority. But Hindus were against the partition of Bengal. So it was cancelled in 1911 by George V. Similar delegation 1906. In similar delegation, Muslims demanded for separate electorates. But the demand of Muslims was rejected. After that, Khilafat movement, 1919-1924. It was also known as the Indian Muslim movement, launched by Muslims of British India and the leaders were Shokat Ali, Maulana Muhammad Ali Johar, and what was the purpose of this movement? To restore the Caliph of the Ottoman Empire. But this movement was failed when Turkey gained diplomat diplomatic position and moved towards the secularism. After that, the Mopla tribes 1921, the Mopla rebellion or the Malabar rebellion was an extended, extended version of the Khilafat movement in Kerala 1921. The government had declared the Congress and Khilafat meetings illegal. So the violence began, the violence began and the Moplas attacked on police stations and took control of them. 
आफ्टर डैट चोरा चोरी इंसिडेंट नाइनटीन द चोरा चोरी इंसिडेंट took place on 4th february 1922 at chorachori in the gorakhpur district of united province which is known as up in british india when a large group of protesters participating in the non cooperation movement clashed with police who opened the fire after that pro hindu movement 1923 hindu started movement like shudhi and sanghatan which widen the gulf further hindu started this movement for the promotion of hinduism after that kohart incident the date of kohart incident is 1924 the main cause of the trouble was the publication of an islam of an anti islamic poem so the terrible riots broke out on the 9th and 10th september 1924 after that the last event the nehru report nehru report was presented in 1928 by motilal nehru and this report was totally against the